Brady? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm Harry Duggan. I'm the fellow that had that accident with your wife this afternoon. Yeah, well, um, come on in, Mr. Oh, Duggan. thank you, I will. My, you have a lovely place here. Uh, thank you. Oh, uh, did I catch you a bad time? Uh, well, my wife and I are going out yet. Oh, I see. Well, this won't uh, take a minute. I mean, you and I can settle it man to man, if you know what I mean. Um, no, don't think I know what you mean. Well, you know, women drivers. Women drivers? Oh, uh, good evening, Miss Brady. This won't uh, take a second. I borrowed a car from a friend to get out here, and I have to get it right back to him. You see, my car had to be towed from the scene of the accident to a shop. From what my wife told me, uh, there wasn't that much damage done to your car. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, she banged up my car pretty bad. Pretty bad? Yes, in fact, I have a, an itemized list of the damage done to my car and what it'll cost Mrs. Brady to fix it. Cost me to fix it, but we both agreed to fix our own cars. Well, why should I agree to a thing like that? After all, it wasn't my fault. Well, it certainly wasn't my fault. Well, I, I think you should hear my side of the story, Mr. Brady. But I've already told Mr. Brady everything. Honey, what is your side, Mr. Duggan? Well, you see, I was doing some heavy marketing for my wife being a woman. She's a little frail. Excuse me, Mr. Duggan. Frail is one thing that I am not. Well, I'd like to get in my side of the story without any interruptions. Well, uh, get on with it, Mr. Duggan. Well, I uh, came down, got in my car, started the engine, and uh, checked my rear window and uh, saw it was clear, and I just started to back out slowly when all of a sudden she came screaming out of her parking place and banged right into me. Obviously, she just didn't look back. But, Mike, he couldn't have looked back because I was moving first. Oh, no, you didn't look back because I, I now, was come moving. On, All Mr. right, D okay, look, uh, this part's a standoff, but as long as there was the same amount of damage done to your cars... Same amount of damage? Are you kidding? Here, read this. Smashed rear taillight, crushed fender, replace muffler, re repaint left side... Realign the frame? How much? $295.11. Of course, there are some other minor things that uh, I don't mind taking care of myself. What, refurnishing your house? <laughs> Mike, this just isn't true. Mrs. Brady, are you suggesting that I am lying? And very badly, too. Well, Mr. Brady, you're gonna have to believe one of our stories, and I guess it'll be hers. See who wears the pants in this family. Mr. Duggan, I think you better leave before I toss you out on the seat of yours. Sir, are you threatening me with bodily harm? Yes. Out. If you haven't heard the last of this, I'm gonna sue you. I'll see you in court. My pleasure. <laughs> of all the nerve that that chiseler. Well, he's obviously trying to use the accident to get a whole lot of other repairs done in his car. Oh, well, Mike, do you think he really means it about taking me to court? Yeah, I think he means it, all right. Mom, Dad, can we talk to you for a second? We heard what you said. Would we have to go to court, too? Well, uh, yes, you might. Oh, Mike, you don't really think they'd have to go to court, do you? Honey, they were witnesses. That's perfectly legal. Oh. Well, honey, there's nothing to be afraid of. All you have to do is tell the truth. We do? Of course, especially in court. The exact truth? Say, listen, uh, what's going on here? Well, before we go to court, we think you ought to know something. What's that? Well, maybe the accident was Mom's fault. My fault? We didn't see you look back, just like the man said. Are you sure? We're sure, Dad. Sorry, Mom. Look, uh, you two run on upstairs and go to bed. It's your bedtime, okay? Say good night. Good night. Good night. Gee, Mike, I don't know what to say. Honey, now listen. Are you sure you looked before you... Well, now, wait a minute. Maybe you just think you did. Honey, I am positive I looked back. Well, how, how do you explain the kids? I can't. Oh, Mike, what am I going to do? Mr. Duggan's going to take me to court, and my own kids are going to have to testify against me. <laughs> 